Mr. Delane was the founder of American Ballroom Theater Company, and he is the director of Dancing Classrooms Program, which teaches dancing to uh, youth in New York. Uh, so, Mr. Delane, if you, he's kind enough to be doing the Q and A with us, the question and answer. So, if you have any questions, please let him know. Now, at this point, I will let Mr. Delane take uh, charge of this, so you can uh, speak with him directly. Thank you, Clavisa. Ladies and gentlemen, last big hand for Miss Clavisa. Yalla, quick. <laughs> what a great pleasure it is for me to be here, ladies and gentlemen, in front of all of you, young ladies and gentlemen. Are you having a good time? Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry, hello. Are you having a good time? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hallelujah. All right, now, before we go into the questions and answers, Tonight and tomorrow, I'm going to ask you to be shaking what your mama gave you. We're going to be holding a dancing class a little bit tonight and tomorrow. Who's coming? Put your hand up. Hello, put your hand up. Okay, good, good, good. Ladies and gentlemen, again, I want to say also another big thank you to the wonderful Diane Nabatov who I've known now for, oh my God, a long time, 13 years. And uh, she was so kind to come to Israel and have this Dancing in Jaffa documentary made. So as she said, before we even start, please go onto your iPhones, dancinginjaffa.com. Yeah? Yeah? And Facebook, please, in a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, we have microphones, I believe, but any questions? Who would like to start off by the first question? Don't all rush. Uh, yeah, would you go to the microphone, please, so that we can all hear you? Yeah. Oops. Oh, that sounds, that sounds. Good, thank you for... Oh! Knock, knock. Okay, so, um, I thought the movie was great, but my one question is, how do you first propose, how do you ask the schools involved, like your idea of having, um, is uh, Jew the Jews and Arabs standing together? Like, how do you propose that idea to them, to the schools? Okay. Um, I went to Israel three times before we started shooting to meet. Uh, there was a lady friend of mine from uh, Israel who somehow made appointments for me with a few of the schools. I met with the principals. And she was very clever. She said, this, there's this famous choreographer in America who wants to know about your schools in this country. Would you kindly, he wants to come and say hello. As we walk into the office, ladies and gentlemen, she tells me, I did not tell them you're going to be teaching the boys and girls to dance together. You are only a choreographer. So somehow I had to break the news to them there and then. But... I'm glad to say that they agreed to see me and they had to think about it because they had to ask their classroom teachers and put it across to the parents and then of course the children. So it was a slow process. I think the biggest obstacle was with the actual parents when you saw in the film where I was meeting with the parents and because I speak Arabic with a Palestinian type of accent, how many of you here speak Hebrew? Shalom, Mashlamech. Tov. How many of you speak Arabic? Habibi, Habib, Tekit, Kon, Kibn Seha. Okay, so the thing is this because I speak Arabic with a Palestinian <coughs> accent, somehow I befriended them, but that was one big obstacle. The second obstacle was to get the Islamic religion, the Muslim parents, to allow their children to dance with a boy or a girl. 
That was a very big obstacle. The third and biggest obstacle was to dance with a Jew. So that was really, really difficult. But, and then the fourth one was that we're making a movie as well. So this was going to go down in history. So, but as I said, I went three times and spoke to them again and again. And I've been watching the movie with you now, and I can't believe that I did it. It was the hardest thing that I have ever encountered. Yet, it was the most satisfying. Because we have the same type of problems all over the world with different communities. So, the line that I said at the very beginning, when you touch someone, touch someone, something happens. And if you touch someone with respect, you'll have respect back. So, uh, I hope I answered your question, young. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from New Jersey. New Jersey? Across the river. Welcome. Welcome to America. <laughs> Thank you very, very much. Please, another side. Yes, young man. I like your glasses. Thank you. <laughs> all right. First of all, it's an honor to actually get to see you in person. And if you don't mind later on, I'd like to take a picture with you. Um, <laughs> I actually have uh, two questions. Um, one of them, the first one is, how long did it actually take you to get the kids to come out of their, their shell and actually dance? And what was that feeling like? How was that like? And uh, my second question would be also, <laughs> have you visited the kids again after the film? And if you have, how was that like? What was that Good. like? Uh, so, I forgot your first question. What's your forgive me? <laughs> sure. How long did it actually take you to yeah. get the kids to come out of the yeah. show Good. and dance? Our dancing classrooms program, ladies and gentlemen, is 20 lessons and we visit the schools twice a week. And usually we take with the school holidays and half days uh, 12 or 13 weeks. I was in Israel for 15 weeks because of various holidays. Um, and the first two weeks, I taught the children in their own respective schools. If you might remember, I taught in five schools, two Arab schools, two Jewish, and one mixed school. So I taught them on their own. And then we went to this special center, the Arab Jewish Community Center. And that was the hardest thing the very, very first time. So we did seven sessions at the Arab Jewish Center. The first three sessions, I don't say you can call useless, but it took a long time. The first three was I could not get anything. You know, I have my bald head here, has become taking my hair out, I was <laughs> taking my hair out of myself. I was really, really, I was angry many times, angry for the children. Now, when you're working with children, you cannot, how you say, be angry in front of them. So you have to be kind to them. So, but 15 weeks in Israel and four sessions before I actually got them dancing with each other. <laughs> and you saw Noor and the other children at the end, how, how happy she was dancing or shaking what her mama gave her. And the, your, your second question, we were very lucky to uh, premiere the movie Dancing in Jaffa in Israel, in Tel Aviv, at the film festival they have in Israel called the Doc Aviv Film Festival on May 2nd. And there we saw, I would say, 60% of the children that were in the film. And of course, they're now two years older, two and a half years older, and Noor, the star, has become quite a young lady. The uh, people now stop her on the street and they want her autograph. So, um, but we were very nervous for the children that night because to see themselves on the screen the first time. So, yeah, that, I, I, I just hope, as I said in the taxi, in the cab, that uh, they'll grow up and they're still friends with each other. That's a, that's a really, really good thing about it. Yeah. Did that answer your question, monsieur? Yes, Where are you from, may I ask you? Uh, New York, I go to Delphi University. Congratulations, Thank good you. luck to you. Thank Bye. you very much. Yes, please, young lady. Come to the microphone. Um, I watched the movie Take the Lead, where Antonio Banderas played you, and I was really inspired. And he repeats the same way we start my interview right now. Um, I have a question. If by chance you come to Africa, what challenge do you want to address in Africa? If I was to come to Africa, 
uh, the challenges I would think, I think, would be to get big to make sure they know the left foot with the right foot, from the right foot to get to <laughs> each other. I don't know which part of Africa are you from, may I ask? I'm from Nigeria. Nigeria, lovely. Um, well, let me come over and talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you very much. Oh, I should... Okay, now we have to go to... Is there a question on this side? Yes, monsieur. Uh, and then I will go to you, and then we'll come to you, okay? Stick around, baby. <laughs> monsieur. Uh, what do you hope to uh, accomplish by this movie? And uh, what do you guys do? Why do you accomplish it or not? What do, I hope to ac what do we hope to accomplish by this movie, Anne? Yeah? What do you hope to achieve by this movie? And uh, whether you're successful enough to accomplish that or not? I didn't understand the second part. What do we... Like, uh, when you were in this movie, like, what was the aim of making that? What were you successful in that? I apologize. Yes, I understand your question. Um, from a personal point of view, I was born at the time when the country was Palestine. My mother was Palestinian and Catholic. My father was Irish and Protestant. Are you aware there's a problem between the Protestants and the Catholics in Ireland, for instance? And so that was a long time ago. Um, so I wanted to give a gift to the children of Jaffa because the Israeli Palestinians are living with each other, next door to each other, and they don't necessarily like or speak to each other. Uh, they're just living under the same government. And so my thought is, to get them to be friendly and to coexist in a peaceful way. Uh, that really was my, uh, my, my whole intention. And I believe if you can change children at a young age, um, give them a good seed, a positive seed to feel towards another human being, you can really change the world. Uh, so that's what I'm really hoping to do, to have a positive, happy coexistence. And if I may say, I've just come back from Belfast a few weeks ago in Northern Ireland where I spent another 15 weeks with Catholic children and Protestant children and I did the same thing there. So this is why I'm looking forward to going to Miss Nigeria. We can do something over there. So I hope I answered your question. Where are you from, may I ask? I'm from Pakistan. You're from Pakistan, wonderful. Thank, Thank you very much. And we had a question from you, young man, I believe, yeah? Yeah, if you don't mind, yes, so that uh, the audience can hear you. Uh, uh, hello, my question is... <laughs> okay, my question is, uh, at the end of the movie, there was written, uh, the class has been stopped after two years. So, if there was a good uh, uh, result outcomes, so why it been stopped? Um, the, 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 the dancing classrooms program itself is continuing in Israel right now. Okay, okay. Uh, and that's what it said at the last bit. There are 1,000 children have taken the dancing classrooms program in the last two years since we started. And at the moment, it is growing and growing to more and more schools. Uh, from the both uh, uh, religious and cultural area. From, 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 from you and Muslims Yes, 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 yes. Oh, very, very, very much so. Uh, it's not continuing in the same system of bringing them together once a week. Uh, it is that they're learning to dance, but the lesson number 20, the last lesson, they have a party and they go to the Jewish Arab Center and the uh, two communities bring food, the parents, the children, and they all dance together. So it is continuing there under that umbrella, yes. And it's opening also in Haifa, in both Arab school and uh, Jewish schools as well. Yeah. And where are you from, sir? Pakistan, sir. You're Pakistan, <laughs> thank you very, very much. Yeah, we have, oh, three of you. Okay, we have two more questions, she said. Can you, could you, no, no, could you then ask, get, get the lady in front of me to ask your question for you, quick. <laughs> all right, young man, quick, please. Okay. Um, first of all, uh, it's an honor. What really resonates with me is that many of the ethnic rivalries 
are biblical in nature and they're ancient. And so I really like that you, uh, uh, you know, thought about change to the youth because that's where the major change happens. Anyway, my, my question is, do you believe that there are any other components of the arts that would just be as equally as effective as dance, maybe like music or another universal language perhaps? I think, that's a nice question, I think that the uh, music is really wonderful, it does bring people together, there are people doing this in, the, in that area of the world as well as other areas of the world, but I believe what is unique about the Dancing Classrooms program uh, is that you are actually touching somebody else, and that is unique, and I believe this will make a bigger impact rather than just if you play tennis with each other, etc. So, uh, thank you. Where are you from? ETA. Okay, good. Thank you very much. I just want to say one thing. Ballroom dance forces two people to move as one. So it's not a game that ends. You are a team. And that's why it's very different. So a team. Four feet <laughs> pretending to be two. Yeah. <laughs> Mesdames and Messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, my Madame and Terra, thank you very, very, very much. Have, uh, if you are of the uh, Islamic religion, uh, Ramadan Kareem. Tonight is the Eid al-Fitr. So I wish you all well. Bye-bye. See you later.